Hello all, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we will be looking at how we can so-called backdoor the SSH service and obtain clear text usernames and passwords when users log on to a compromised machine via SSH. So this scenario will be really useful in read team assessments and is also very practical in real-world scenarios as well even though we need root access to do this. So in order to backdoor the SSH service, we need to have root access to the Linux server first. So imagine that we have already compromised a Linux server, such as this Ubuntu server, and has already obtained root access. This means that we can do whatever we want on the server. But imagine what we need is a particular set of user account credentials that we have no way of knowing. The only way that we can get the password of the target user will be to crack the password hash of the user. Since we are root, we can read the etc shadow file and get the password hash of the target user that we want. But many times, this will be impractical because of the resources required to crack a password, such as computing power and time. So, one good way to achieve this will be to backdoor the SSH service and wait for our target user to log on to the compromised server and the backdoor will then print out the user's password in clear text instead. So before we begin, it would be amazing if you can help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks. We will be referencing this blog post and try to replicate it step by step to show how it works and how it is done. So all credits belong to this blog post, embracetherate.com. The link to the blog post will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check it out. So this article will guide us on how we can backdoor the SSH service by modifying the common dash off configuration file to include a malicious bash script that we will be creating. The bash script will basically be executed whenever a successful authentication happens over SSH. This can be done with the pam underscore exec dot so library file. So first of all, let's create an imaginary target user that we want to get the clear text password from. Let's create a new user account called developer. Let's enter a password for the user account developer. As explained earlier, since we are root and we have already compromised the Linux server, we can get the password hash of the developer account from the etc shadow file. But if we want the developer account clear text password, we will have to crack the password hash. However, we can perform this technique of backdooring the SSH service instead and wait for the developer account to log in on his own. Alright, let's create the needed bash script and copy the content from the blog post. Okay, so this should do it. Now, let's modify the common dash off configuration file and include the pam underscore exec.so library so that whenever an authentication occurs, we can execute our bash script. Now let's make sure that our bash script is executable by performing chmod to allow the plus x bit. Now we will also need to create the log file. Let's create the log file. The clear text credentials will be written to this log file. Alright, all good. It's amazing that we don't even have to restart the SSH service for this to work. Let's verify the log file is empty. Let's open up another console and SSH into the compromised Ubuntu server using the developer's account. Okay, let's verify the log file again. Nice! We are able to obtain the clear text password of our target developer account by backdooring the SSH service following this blog post. That's really a handy trick to know, it's very impressive. The link to the blog post will be in the video's description. Looking at the mitigations, the author is suggesting EDR to catch 
modifications in PAM configuration files, and also to review PAM modules and settings. I don't believe that EDR products are mature enough in Linux to be able to do all of that. Definitely not AV solutions like Clam AV. Okay, that is all to this video. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Please help to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It will help out the channel a lot. Thanks.